Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a very easy yet super delicious Indian curry chicken. Simple ingredients and quick steps to follow is what makes this curry chicken my go-to recipe on those very busy days. The whole recipe comes together in less than 30 minutes and you can see how tempting it looks. Enjoy this Indian curry chicken recipe with hot rotis or even bhakris or even some steamed rice. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Let's see how to make this delicious Indian curry chicken. First, I'm going to roast about half a cup of desiccated coconut. The goal here is to use as less utensils as possible so I'm just going to roast it in the same pot that I will use to make the chicken. So lightly roast until it gets nice golden color like this. Looks great. Let's remove it in a plate. We're going to keep it on the side to let it cool down. Once it does so, we're going to make a nice puree. So add it to the mixer grinder. Since this is a quick chicken curry, you know, I'm not roasting any garam masala or any onions, just simply the coconut. I added some water and here is how my puree looks. This is the perfect consistency for that chicken curry. Look at that. In the same kadhai, now let's add 2 to 3 teaspoons of oil, bay leaves, some heme and now I'm going to add one small chopped onion I'm using red onions here so let's fry the onions until they get nice dark golden color like this so this will take about five to seven minutes on a medium to medium high flame now here I have made some fresh ginger garlic and coriander coarse paste so I've added about four teaspoons fry the paste really well you can use store bought ginger garlic paste as well now we'll start adding some spices, so turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder, 3 to 3.5 three teaspoons of homemade masala, 4 teaspoons of cumin and coriander powder and some salt. Again you can always adjust the salt later, so I have added about 2 teaspoons. Fry all the masalas for half a minute or so on the lowest flame. If you don't have any handy homemade masala, you know you can always add any store bought chicken curry masala as well. Now I've dropped in 1 kg of whole chicken. I have made sure that these are small to medium pieces. Now we simply need to coat all the chicken pieces with this fried masala. So this will take about a minute or two. Cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes or so on a medium flame. The aroma is amazing. Look at that. The chicken has started to release some moisture. So I'm simply going to give it a good stir. The chicken had been cooking for about 15 minutes or so. Now I'm going to add some water. Let's give it a quick stir once again. The chicken seems to be about 60 to 65 percent cooked. Now I'm going to cover it again and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes more. So open after about 10 minutes it had been cooking on high flame. Drop in your coconut puree and give it a quick stir. The chicken is almost cooked here now. We simply need to let it simmer for 2 to 3 minutes since we added the coconut puree. Switch off the flame after about 2 minutes or so and cover it. I had let it rest like this for about half an hour or so. Let's open and check. Notice that delicious red color that has come to our curry chicken. Simply garnish it with some coriander leaves. Let's serve it hot. As you've seen, this Indian curry chicken came together in less than 30 minutes and the ingredients that we used were also very minimal. Hope you've liked it. You can always enjoy this curry chicken with some hot rotis, bhakris or even some steamed rice. If you enjoyed today's recipe, please don't forget to share your valuable feedback. 
have a great day